Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing natural methods of handling adult onset diabetes or type 2 diabetes. But before I do, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I've organized my videos into a series of playlists, so please check out my playlist page. Now, type 2 diabetes usually comes on slowly in people and may be passed off as something else. It is important to know if you are developing type 2 diabetes so that you have a fighting chance of halting its progress and reversing it naturally. Before we begin, there are, these are the symptoms of type 2 diabetes. Not all of the symptoms may be evident in every person. The first symptom is hunger. You feel great hunger, especially right after you've finished eating. There is a dry mouth and frequent urination. You start to lose weight, even though you're eating a lot and feeling hungry. You feel tired and weak. Your vision becomes blurred. You get more and more headaches. And sometimes you can even lose consciousness, although that is rare. Now you can reverse type 2 diabetes in as little as a month or less if you are willing to change a few things in your diet. The first thing you must do is stop eating all refined sugars. And you must not use any type of artificial sweetener in its place. This is very important. This can be trickier than you might imagine. Read the labels on the food that you buy is a great first step. But the primary issue here is that you'll find that you are addicted to refined sugars and it is extremely difficult to stop eating them. Motivate yourself strongly to help with this. When you have cut refined sugars out of your diet for about a week, you will notice the cravings for sweets will be reduced to manageable levels. Be vigilant here. I would recommend that you not drink fruit juices or eat fruits for the first week as well to help yourself end the sugar cravings. Remember, no artificial sweeteners of any kind. The next thing is to cut out of your diet for the first three days is all grain products. If you can eliminate grains for a week it would be better. Grain products, even super healthy ones, will convert to sugars and if you keep eating them, no matter how healthy they sound, you will not be able to kill your sugar cravings. So stop eating grains for the first three days. After this, add just small quantities of super healthy whole grains back into your diet, like maybe oatmeal. But if you find the sugar cravings returning, stop the grains altogether. Trust your body here and follow its lead. Focus your diet on healthy proteins, fats, and green vegetables. Next, you need to get the fats you eat into a good balance. Too many omega-6 fats contribute to diabetes. For the first three days, eliminate all omega-6 fats from your diet and only consume omega-3 fats. Now, omega-6 fats are found in things like grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, corn oil, wheat germ oil, soybean oil, shortenings and margarines, as well as things like salad dressings and mayonnaise. Some examples of the omega-3 fats are real butter, flaxseed oil, cod liver oil, fatty fish like salmon, herring and sardines, chia seeds, walnuts, hickory nuts, pecans, pine nuts, pistachios and macadamia nuts. You can also take omega-3 fatty acid supplements. You can start to incorporate a small amount of omega-6 fats 
on the fourth day, but make certain that you never exceed the amount of omega-3 fatty acids. The best ratio is one to one. The next thing to fix is the status of your digestive system by including probiotics to help the intestines heal and regain proper functioning. The best way to do this is via a coated pill that will dissolve in the small intestines and not the stomach. Also, make certain that you are taking digestive enzymes with all of your food until your digestive system has healed itself completely. The next thing to do is to start exercising every day. You need to be doing the equivalent of about 30 minutes of walking each day in the fresh air. The more you exercise, the better it is for you as far as curing type 2 diabetes. Remember that you must do this every day. Make certain that you're getting the full range of vitamin and mineral supplementations as outlined in my videos on both of these talk topics. In particular, make certain that you get at least 800 milligrams of vitamin D3 each day. Vitamin D3 deficiency is rampant and promotes not only diabetes but cancer, heart disease, and many other serious physical ailments. So make certain all of your vitamin and mineral levels are in top condition. Also, make certain that your vitamin and mineral supplementation program includes generous chromium supplementation, as well as CoQ10, garlic, cinnamon, and magnesium. Some additional supplements that has helped is yeast, buckwheat, broccoli, and other related greens, cloves, coffee, okra, leafy greens, fenugreek seeds, spirulina, and sage. Avoid all processed foods. Don't eat or any food that is refined. This means no white bread, no baked products, no processed meat and dairy products. Stop eating dairy products altogether for the first week and then slowly put them back in the form of maybe a little bit of yogurt. Stop eating all processed meats like salamis and bologna and anything of this nature. The nitrates in them um, are very, very bad and contributed to diabetes. So this means no more pizzas and no ham products, no deli sandwiches and so forth. Only eat meat that is as close to its natural state as possible. And of course, it goes without saying that you need to lose weight. One of the most important things that you can do for every facet of your health is to reduce the stress levels of your life. Stress raises cortisol levels and could lead to hormone imbalances, insulin issues, and increases the risk of all kinds of diseases. Get plenty of natural sleep. Limit your exposure to toxins and mental and emotional sources of stress. If this means a big change in your living habits, then this is what's required. Now, I have a great many videos on many different topics, so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.